everybody, this is Connie, and I am back today with a bookcase.club unboxing. I just got this today, and I have I just opened the box because it was taped shut. So let's look and see what I got this month. One thing I wish they'd do, I wish they would put like a some um at least some bookmarks or something in in with their packaging. So, so this is the bookcase.club and there's all their information. This is $9.99 a month plus tax. So it's like almost $15 a month for everything that you, for the two books that you get. And um, you can pick all kinds of um, genres that you want. I choose the paranormal genre because that is my favorite but you can get contemporary romance you can get mystery you can get um get four children's books that you can read to them at night uh you can get they they added a new one and i can't remember what that is but i will list everything down below all the information and this says we read to know that we are not alone c.s c.s lewis and it says, thanks for all the birthday wishes. We are so grateful for awesome subscribers like you. Summer is fast approaching, and you may be able to get some reading done poolside. Be careful. Our picks this month will have you wishing for a cooler breeze. How many, or how many notes have you received? Tell us on Twitter, cbookcase.com notes. Stay cool and enjoy. I don't understand about the notes. Maybe I will once I... Okay, so the first book I'm picking up is Romantic, Tense, Edge of Your Seat Reading. Tamara Pierce, New York Times. I have a hair or something. It is Some Gifts Burn, Indigo, by Gina Linko. And this is the... Oh, look at her. She... See, you can kind of... <laughs> Okay, from what the back of the back of the box or back of the books looks like, and then I will also read this when I'm done. This says a curse, a gift, a moment that changes everything. Corinne thought that she was she was only reaching out to help her little sister when let's see here, let me see if I can get this right. Corinne thought she was only reaching out to help her little sister when her touch brought a violent surge of indigo light. In an instant, Sophie was dead. Determined to hide her deadly curse, Corinne distances herself from the world, refusing to touch anyone she loves. When her family moves to the mystical city of New Orleans, Corinne met, meets Rennick, an artist with a dangerous past. He opens her eyes to other possibilities and suggests there might be more to her gift. But after what happened to her sister, can Corinne t trust Rennick? Can she trust herself? Okay. I don't know. Sounds a, sounds a little um, young adult. And I don't like young adult stuff. So I'm too old for that stuff. Um, but you know what? It, it does sound interesting enough that I'll read it. It almost reminds me of, um, what's her name in the X-Men that couldn't touch anybody? That would kill with her touch. Okay, the next one is by Tawny Taylor, which I have heard of. This is Darkest Fire. Delicious taboo text. Sex and intrigue. Irresistible. Hmm. It even shows a boob on that one. <laughs> okay. In a wicked game of seduction, who's the hunter and who's the prey? Drake Alexander isn't merely the handsome billionaire playboy everyone thinks he is. He's the leader of, of his generation of black griffins destined to protect humanity. And although Draco has no desire to be tied down except at the private bondage club he frequents, the future depends on him taking a wife to bear him a son. He knows just the woman. Rin Mitchell, a delicate beauty who unleashes his deepest primal hunger. Their agreement will ensure that he'll never have to give up his desire for domination, forbidden pleasures, and multiple lovers. But Draco's chosen prey is also hiding something, and it's her if her secret doesn't destroy them, the explosive passion she ignites just might. 